Hi, Deirdre McNamara here. I'm um, just going to talk to you about VAT. Um, so in front of me here, I have a spreadsheet that um, is showing you um, different amounts here um, that have been taken in from the register. So for example, um, for sit-in food, we received on a Monday, we received 200 euros in the cash register. For juice, we got 10 euros and for hot takeout food, we got 20 euros. So sitting in the cash register or the money we got from our customers was 230 uh, euros. Now, um, that sounds great, but we don't actually, we can't actually keep all of that uh, money. We can only keep uh, the money that's left over after we've paid the Batman. So three different amounts we're looking at here. The 230 is the amount of money paid in by the customer uh, that's sitting in the cash register. The 1899 uh, is the amount of money that will be uh, given to the Batman. And the total before that is the amount of money we'll be able to keep. Okay, so uh, again, there's three different amounts. The one is what the customers will pay you, and you'll end up with, with in the till. The second is the amount of money that you're going to owe the Batman, and the third is the amount of money that you'll be able to keep yourself. Okay. So I'm going to begin now by just uh, opening up a blank worksheet. So let's click on File and New and Create. Okay, so in the top, I'm going to type in VAT rate. So VAT rate. Okay, and in cell B1 here, I'm going to type in, for example, uh, 10%. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to do is, because I'm going to use this rate, um, is I'm going to name this. So I click on the 10%, then I right mouse click, and I click, with left mouse click, on define name. Because I clicked on the 10%, it'll look there beside it and it has picked up the term VAT rate. That's perfect and okay. So down here, um, we can have something like steak. For a steak, ooh, not a teak dinner. Where is that? Steak dinner. Uh, and we can have Special, and we end up there. Okay, so I'm just going to stretch that out a bit. Okay, so we've got a steak dinner, and um, we're charging the customers um, for the steak dinner. We're charging 18.50. Uh, for the chicken special, we're charging 12.50, and for the lamb dinner, we're charging 15.50. Now. We typed in 18.50 and only 18.5 is displaying. So I'm just going to select those there and I'm going to click in here and click on uh, Euro symbol for Ireland. Okay, so that's looking a bit better. So in here we're going to type in price including VAT. Now, you can see that the title is slightly stretching over into column C. So all I do is I click on that, and I might as well do a few together. So I'm going to select across like that, and I'm going to click on Wrap Text. And you can see it can wrap around in there. At the moment, the title is lined up on the left-hand side, and the number is lined up on the right-hand side. So I'm going to move him all over to the right-hand side, and that should be nice. Okay, so in here we're going to type in price before that. Now, this is what the customer is going to pay you. This is what you'll be able to keep yourself. And then the VAT due um, is what you're going to have to pay the VAT for. Okay, so we need to work out uh, what the VAT due is going to be. So in the handout that you received, it says, if you have um, the sales... Okay, so if you have the sales price before... Uh, if you want to work out the sales price before that and you already have the sales price including that now no, again remember another way of saying sales price including that is what the customers give you the sales price on your menu okay so to work out how much you're going to be able to keep yourself or the sales price before that you divide what the customer is going to give you by 100% plus the VAT rate so if your VAT rate was 10% you're going to be dividing it by 110% 100 plus 10 percent will be 110 percent okay so we're going to take that into excel now i go back to my excel spreadsheet 
okay? So we're saying it's going to be the sales price, including that, divided by 100% plus the 10%. So equals sales price, including that, divided by, that's that slash thing, and you have to put in your brackets, 100% plus, now we named the VAT rate, so I'm just going to start typing VAT, and up it pops, and I'm going to press tab, VAT rate, and then close my brackets, and that's it, I'm happy with that, so it equals B3 divided by 100% plus the VAT rate, so that's correct. That's grand. So if this is what we're going to charge our customers, and this is what we're going to be able to keep ourselves, the difference between the two of these is what we owe the VAT man. So to work out what we owe the VAT man, it's equals what the customers give us minus what uh, we're going to be able to keep ourselves. So we owe the VAT man 168 in this case here. So that all looks fine. I'm just going to format these ones here as money as well. So that looks good. Okay. And I'm going to select in here and I'm going to put on some borders and I'm going to select like that and put on a little bit of shading and the same in there. Okay, so that's fine if we start off uh, with what uh, you want uh, to take from the customers. Um, and we can take a look then at a, a slightly more complicated version of this. So I'm just going to go file and open. I'm going to find uh, public drive, courses, uh, hospitality business system, and then the VAT. Okay, so in this uh, spreadsheet here, we have the VAT rates on the VAT rates sheets, and then in sales too, we had some different sales. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do in here is we're going to name each of these VAT rates. We're going to right mouse click and define name. That's going to be the standard rate for anything like alcohol or fizzy drinks. The reduced rate, and we define name. Okay, not to use much in a restaurant, and define name. This is the second reduced rate. This is the one for food and juice in a restaurant, and take out food. Okay, so the, we've got our three different rates in here, a bit like we did the first step on the last sheet. Okay, and in the sales area here, so this is what the amount of money we took in from our customers, what we charged our customers. And so we're just going to total up on each of these. So I select where I want my answer to appear and I click on auto sum and I click on correct. And then I drag across and I'm going to do the same out here, auto sum and correct. And then I drag down. So this is the amount of money we have in the till. Now we can't keep all of that. We have to give the VAT man uh, the VAT. So we're going to work out how much we're going to be able to keep ourselves and then how much we're owed uh, to the VAT man. So uh, as we saw in the last slide here, the sales price before VAT is equal to the sales price including VAT, or what we've charged the customer, divided by 100% plus the VAT rate. So let's go back uh, into this slide here. So it's going to be equals the total after VAT, or what we charge the customer, divided by 100% plus now these are the second reduced rate, so I'm going to type in SEC, second reduced rate. Okay, and we close our brackets and press enter. So out of the 230 euro, we'll be able to keep 211 of it, and the difference will have to go to the Batman. So in here, we're going to work out how much we owe the Batman. So it's going to be equal to what the customers gave us minus what we can keep ourselves. And so we owe the Batman on a, for the Monday sales, we owe the Batman 1899. Okay, so now we might want to format this. Let's select that area there and we format it as, as money. And we're going to put on a few borders. We're going to line up our titles on the right hand side and we can put on some shading, uh, etc. So the second half of these is exactly the same. So again, we're just going to put in our auto sums. drag across and our auto sums and drag down. Okay, so this is the amount of money we have in the till for alcohol for those items that are charged at the higher rate of VAT. Okay, so this is what we have. We have 230 in the till for these more uh, expensive items. 
So how much will we be able to keep uh, ourselves? So it's going to be equal to this cell up here, divided by 100% plus, now this is the standard rate of, tax, of VAT, standard rate, and close our bracket. Okay, and what we owe the Batman is going to be equal to the 230 minus the 186. And I'm going to drag that across and I can unify it as well.